ta 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 What's up, fellow LEGO lovers? This is Cameron Schreiner here from Georgia Tech, and welcome back to the BAM. In today's episode, we're going to go over the light sensor, figure out what it looks like, and how it works. So go ahead and grab a robot with one, and let's get started. Alright, so in your kit, you should have one of these. This is just your standard, regular light sensor. It has two lights on the bottom, or two little LEDs, one for emitting light, and the other one for catching and reading its reflection. It has three holes across the bottom to attach to your robot, and a spot to plug in a wire on the back. Now, remember, this light sensor gets very bright because it has to measure reflected light, so never look into the light after you've plugged it in and it's turned on. It's best to try to keep it towards the ground or facing straight ahead on your robot. So now that we've talked about what this looks like, let's talk about a little bit how it works. So I said earlier that one of these lights emits a beam, a red beam, and then the other one collects it and measures a level of reflection. But what do I mean when I say reflection? So let's talk about light for a little bit. So all light comes in as white light, uh, like from the sun. It has all of the colors together. So then what makes my shirt blue? What's happening? Well, white light will hit the dyes in my shirt and something will get reflected back. And what gets reflected back is actually the color blue. So what's happening to all the other colors? They're being absorbed in my shirt. So then if I look at yellow sticky notes, What's happening with yellow sticky notes? The color yellow is being reflected off, and then all the other colors are being absorbed into the sticky notes. So then, now something weird. If I get a white piece of paper, which color is being reflected and which color is being absorbed? It's actually white is the reflection of all colors, which means everything that's coming in is bouncing straight back. That's why they call it white light. So now if I look at something that's black, What's happening to colors here? They're actually all being absorbed. So all of the white light is going into this black object. This is why, let's say, a black car gets hotter in the summer, because all of the sun's light is being absorbed into the paint, whereas a white car, most of the light is being reflected away, which is why it feels cooler to the touch. So this is kind of how a light sensor works. It just puts a number to that. So it'll shine out a red light, and then based on how much of that light is reflected back in, it will give it a number. So then, if it measures reflection, which color is going to give you the highest number, black or white? White, right? Because it will shine out the light, and white reflects all colors, so it will give it a really high number of reflection back. And then black is the exact opposite. Black, it will emit the red light, and most of that light will get absorbed, giving you a smaller number. So now that you know how a light sensor works, in the next episode we're going to go over how to program it and how to calibrate it so it can tell what is what, which is light and which is dark. So look forward to the next episode of LaBam and thanks for watching.